composed away performance once again. Yeah, I thought it was. Um, there's been a, there's been a focus about the group this week. Um, it's been pleasing. It's, uh, the environment that we've been working, pleasing. Um, standard of training, very good. Showed on the on the pitch today, composed in possession in particular. Yes, well, but I thought that out of possession won us again today. I think we had uh, a game plan, um, roles and responsibilities uh, under the I think we did everything that was needed, everything that was uh, required. Can still do a little bit more, and uh, I think with the, uh, especially with the ball, some more options can still be a little bit better. But defensively, as a as a team, as a unit, as a squad, as a changing, very good. Uh, Daniel Powell back in the side uh, here today and a great first half for him, got his goal and then a great cross for the second goal too. Uh, I suppose that would have raised a few eyebrows, wouldn't it? There would have been a few people that would have said, what did you do? Um, been out of the fray. But again, if people perform, if people train, if people do what I uh, need them to do, if they show what they've got, then it's like I said before, there's um, still opportunities that, uh, for them to come in and put performances in. It would be nothing more uh, than enhance their, uh, their reputation. And again, how has been doing that. Uh, we've been having, we've organised a few games, we're behind closed doors, uh, and again, um, he's earned the right to, to, for the selection. And that's no discredit to the players that, 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 uh, that weren't selected for the start then. Again, again, we look at the games, we look at the, the training, uh, we look at who's performing then, and then I pick the team. Uh, so, so all those ingredients go into the mix, and I think that's why you, you need, as a, as a player, they need to know that the, the acceptable levels are come in, perform, uh, impress, uh, and then wait for the opportunity. And when you get the opportunity, take it. During that Christmas period, where it, it was a frustrating time, wasn't it? We talked about not getting the first goal, not being able to dictate the games. But here today, uh, crew missed a decent chance early on. You got the first goal and really dominated the game from there on in. Well, again, I think when you walk into the football club and you're trying to create uh, a new environment and a new culture, it doesn't happen overnight. Uh, sometimes you need to bring in new personnel, sometimes there needs to be uh, an adjustment of personnel that's already in the building. Um, and the, the buying in of players and the understanding of the little intricacies, intricacies that I try and implement, sometimes it takes a little bit of time for the players to adhere to it naturally. Um, and then what you, what you want to do, you want to get a, a collection of the players buying into it and then that spreads. Uh, it takes away the anxiety, the nervousness, uh, and try and make it as simple as possible. These are the guidelines, these are the, these are the focuses, the focuses that are needed. But again, it's, it's spreading, there's, um, there's an environment now that's growing uh, and multiplying and more people are buying into it, uh, they get the rest. Um, but the work ethic when they come in uh, is very pleasing. It was evident throughout, wasn't it? Because the confidence and belief in the side today was was evident again. That's obviously something that's risen throughout the past few weeks because results have picked up. Well, again, I thought today was a game. Um, in what, like I said to the players, like I explained to the players throughout the week, throughout the training sessions, if we want to come here and stand it off of crew and play football, uh, we could be in for an afternoon that uh, could be very difficult. If we come here and say, this is us. Uh, we're going to identify yourselves as being comfortable on the ball, good rotation in your play, good understanding and good ability, but uh, we're going to stop that, we're going to nullify that, and then find out what is your plan B. Now, if your plan B is going to be more of plan A, then we will, still, we will get even closer to you. And I think we did that today. I think we stopped them from playing, nullified their threat, and proved that we can score goals. Away from home against a good footballing team, we still look to threat on the break. There's, there's still more to come from us, yeah, because, but, but your foundation is uh, negate the opposition's threat and then express yourself with, uh, with the ball in the right areas. So that, that. Yeah, that second half performance was very clever, very streetwise. You broke the game up when you needed to, you disrupted their um, chances to come forward. You were obviously out of possession for most of the time because crew were chasing the game, but you saw that out pretty comfortably. Yeah, I thought they, again, um, I thought they had, they had one or two. Uh, good passages of play, but again, I think uh, against the crew team that's on their day, they make anybody look open uh, and exposed. And they had a few opportunities, a few, a few of their overs and a few little fix in the uh, movement that they caused us one or two problems, but, uh, but overall, um, did very well. Uh, Dyke on right, Dyke on Helm came and caught when he needed to catch, make one great save, getting a, getting a, a late hand to board went over the bar. So again, again it's a case of everybody playing their part, but not only the, the ones that are starting um, 
about Phil Tenner, the goalkeeper. Uh, it's about the squad, the squad that travelled, even the players that didn't play, because they played a massive part in the environment and the culture throughout the week, uh, and that's the pleasing thing. No sulking. There hasn't been, there's people with disappointment, there's people that are, are angry, and there's people that are frustrated. That, you're going to get that every at every football club. Um, but as a group, we're managing that because you know, they know if they're, uh, with those emotions, come and see me. Um, I won't change my mind and it won't affect my team selection, but I'm there to listen and I'm there to, I'm there to help. John Joe O'Toole seems to have slipped back in quite nicely. He had a, had a difficult period, obviously, on the sidelines, but he's come back in. Um, he seems to have really found his feet again. Um, he, he, and, and he's been a danger in the opposition's box as well, as you saw today. Got his goal in the second half, almost scored with a header too. Yeah, I'd probably I'd say a trademark John Joe O'Toole. Mm. Um, good work ethic, good understanding of his role at a possession, freedom to go and express himself and put, go into areas where he thinks he's going to be a goal threat. It's a typical change here. And you're now nine points off the playoffs. Are you daring to dream at all? Um, we take um, results as they come. Um, we're aware of the, the, the games that remain. Um, we're still putting down foundations and implementing the culture that we need to have as a foundation for the football club. Uh, because it wasn't in place, in my opinion. Um, and we're enjoying working in that environment and we're always looking to gain points. I said that to the players before the game today. There's been a focus about the group and there's my belief that there's three points available for us today if individually and collectively we do our jobs. And that's the last message that's sent to the players. A good belief and good understanding there were points available for us today. I think we went out and we took the points. And is the next challenge perhaps to now go back to the PTS and put in a good performance and get a really good victory at home to really get everyone properly behind you once again. Yeah, nothing better than going in against, uh, again, a footballing team, uh, Exeter. Um, at the other end of the table where we want to be operating, and so again, a good opportunity to test ourselves uh, against a team that are chasing to get out of this division. Uh, they, they're where we need to be, where we want to be, where we've got aspirations to be for the next season. So it's a great opportunity for us to test ourselves uh, against one of, the, uh, one of the teams that are operating where we want to. Keith, congratulations and thank